The presidential campaign is making its way to central Virginia once again. Led by Representative Jennifer McClellan, Democrats held an event in Ettrick yesterday to get out the vote, while the Black Conservative Federation came through Richmond by bus today. Our Bill Fitzgerald joins us now with the details. Bill? Cheryl, yesterday's event for the Democrats celebrated a Tennessee legislator who was expelled before winning back his seat because he joined a protest demanding gun control on the state house floor there. The Black Conservative Federation came to Richmond today trying to win over a traditionally Democratic constituency. Several dozen people crowded the Ettrick Deli on the edge of the Virginia State University campus Thursday as Democrats worked to get out the vote among young people. Several said Kamala Harris's entry into the race would energize young voters and that they were ready to fight for what they called their freedoms. Then today, a bus carrying members of the Black Conservative Federation pulled up to the Maggie Walker Plaza on Broad Street, hoping to catch up with potential voters and show them why the Republican Party and Donald Trump would deliver them prosperity. We got to be able to tell the black community that we have had enough of the Democrat Party of the policies that do not work, that make our schools not safe, our communities are not safe, uh, our borders are open, illegals are coming in by the droves, taking up benefits that belong to our communities, especially the black community and those what we call the underserved. Everything that we care about uh, for, for young people, I think in particular, reproductive freedom, uh, making sure that they have um, affordable education, um, that when they get out of school, that they're not saddled with debt, that they can get a job, that we have an economy that doesn't leave anyone behind. But our very freedoms are at stake, the right to vote, the right to reproductive freedom, the right to access to health care. Now, The Guardian is reporting that the Trump campaign has pulled resources away from Virginia as well as New Hampshire and Minnesota, but political experts say it is not likely that Virginia might be in play, but both parties say you can expect more events here over the next two months.